Hello everyone. If you follow my last video, you can build a network like this. So in today's video, I will show you how to modify the connections between edges. So to see which connections are already built automatically. So let's select the box here, show connections. Let's click on it. Then let's zoom in. So this is the edge L2. This is the edge L12. We can see the connections from this link in L2 to this lane in L12. And also for this lane in L2, it connects to both these two lanes in L12. Then I will show you how to modify the connections between lanes for different edges. Then we will follow this table to change the connections between edges. So here from the edge ID from, it's the ID of the link for which the traffic movement will be specified. So here we would like to specify the traffic movement of the edge L2. Then the edge ID two, the ID of the downstream link of the ball defined the link. So this is the downstream link. Then from lane to lane is the lane numbers for L2. It has two lanes. So lane numbers are zero and one. Then for lane L12, it has three lanes. Lane zero, lane one, and lane two. So the last number of the defined the line and the lane number of the link B, how they are connected to each other. To change the connection, we need to be in the connection mode. So the connection mode is to click on this icon, then we'll be in the connection mode. So let's click on this icon. Now we are in the connection mode. In the connection mode, so we are able to specify new connections or change existing connections. Now let's see, do we need to change this specification? So this is L2 and L12. So according to this table, the lane zero of L12 is connected to lane zero in L12 and lane zero in L2 is also connected to lane one in L12. So now let's click on this lane, the bottom lane. So this is the lane zero in L2. Now we see this lane is connected to lane, lane zero in L12. Go back here. So we can also see the connections by using the colors. See this color shows, let's see the legend here. So this is the source link, okay? Where the traffic is, is coming from. Then this is a downstream lane. So this is a target lane. This means the lane zero in L12 will 
go to lane zero in L12. It's L2. Lane zero in L2 will go to lane zero in L12. But according to this table, the lane zero in L12, L2 will also go to lane one in L12. Then it means we need to change the connections. Then how to change the connections? So we can simply click on, okay, this is the source link. Yeah, if we want to change this conflict zone, it's set here, you have to hold control, well, click to create conflicting connections. So let's hold control and click on the lane one in L12. Now you see we built a new connection from lane zero in L12 to both L2, lane zero in L2 to both lane zero and lane one in L12. Then we can click on OK. Now see the lane zero in L2 is connected to lane zero and lane one in L12. So let's cancel it. Now let's specify lane one. We see now lane one in L2 is connected to both lane one and lane two in L12. But in this table, we see the lane L2 is connected only to the lane one in L2 is only connected to lane two in L12. That means we need to delete this link because lane one in L2 is only connected to lane two in L12. So this is our source lane. To change for the target lane, we can click on it. See, now there is no connection. It's only some possible target. We can only see, we can remove this one. Now the lane one in L2, his target lane is lane two in L12. Now we can save it. Now you see here we have finished the modification. The let's go to the connection mode, the selection mode. It shows the lane zero in L2 is connected to both lane zero and lane one in L12. And lane one in L2 is connected to lane two in L12. Okay, and let's save it. So using this way, you can modify the connections for all the other links between two edges. Now I will show you another topic uh, to specify the priority of 
each ad. But the priority is one by default. To change the pro priority, we can select the edits you want to modify and then switch to the inspection mode. Then you are able to change the priority information or select edges by clicking on one of the select edges. So in this example, so all edges has default priority three. So except for the northbound and southbound, the L16 and L15. So this L15 and L16, they have priority two. So then all the other IDs has priority one. Priority two means lower priority. So to change the priority of all the IDs, then we can go to the selection mode. So this is the selection mode. If we click on the selection mode, then actually we can use square rectangle selection. If we hold the shift, let's hold the shift button in the keyboard, then we can rectangle selection. See, now we select all the edges. We have 26 edges selected and 14 junctions and 66 connections, lane to lanes. Now let's switch to the inspection mode, click by clicking on this icon. Now we are in inspection mode. So let's click on here. Then we have 26 edits selected. Now we see by default, the priority is minus one. Then we can change the priority to one. It also shows the speed of all the edits. Now let's go to the selection mode. Let's save here and go to the selection mode again. Then let's clear the selection. Now we can change the priority for the northbound L16 and Southbound uh, 15. Let's zoom in. Let's click on this one. Let's select on this one. And here shows we select one edges. So this is uh, 15, the southbound uh, 15. Then let's change to inspection mode. Then we can, this is L, we can change it to L15. Then its priority should be two, lower priority. Then let's click on this edge, this L16, the northbound, the northbound road. L16, let's change the priority to two. Then we can save it here. So the in can do using the same way to change the priority of all the edges, then you can also use the way I taught today to 
change the connections between edges. So in my next video, I will show you how to specify the traffic, create the traffic demand and do the simulation in Sumo GUI.